for this our conference district will 63. now be recorded. It is my pleasure to welcome all of you to the 10th and final in the series for our upcoming officers in regions two and three. Let us start as we've done for all the others today with a quote. And for this session, I've chosen a quote from British business magnate, investor, author, and philanthropist who is based in the UK, who's from the UK. He founded the Virgin Group in the in 1970s. His name is Sir Richard Branson. And the quote that I've chosen from him, publicity is absolutely critical. A good PR story is definitely more effective than a front page ad, end of quote. Just the quote one more time. Publicity is absolutely critical. A good PR story is infinitely more effective than a front page ad, end of quote. So a quick word of, of prayer. Father, we thank you for this opportunity and for the facilitator, for the attendees. We pray that as we spend these moments together, you would open our minds as we participate in this session. It is my prayer that this session will help us to be more, to more effectively tell our stories, the stories of lions, the stories of enhancing lives. May we willingly embrace this knowledge and put it into practice, not only in the year ahead, but for years to come. This is my prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. It is now my pleasure to introduce our facilitator, Lion Beatrice McDonnell, MJF. Lion Beatrice has been a lion for over 30 years, having joined the move movement in 1988 as a lioness and then transitioned to lions. At the club level, she has served in a number of capacities, including president, vice president, secretary, membership director, Leo advisor and marketing and communications chairperson. At the district level, she has served as zone chairperson, zone 3B, associate chair global service team, chair public relations and marketing. At the multiple district level, she served as public relations and marketing associate chair. She's received several accolades from her club and was awarded the Club President Excellence Award for Outstanding Leadership and the International President Certificate of Appreciation. Lion Beatrice is a retired public officer, having served for over 30 years in St. Lucia's public service. When she retired, she held the position of Deputy Permanent Secretary. She has a passion for service and membership development and embraces the Lions motto, we serve. My fellow Lions and Leos are presenter for the Communication and Public Relations Workshop. Please join me in welcoming Lion Beatrice McDonald. Lion Beatrice. Thank you, Lion Sandra. Good evening, my fellow Lions and Leos. I must say that I am humbled to be given the opportunity to share my experience at the district level. And I want to start by saying, I'm not sure if putting this session as the final one was deliberate or by happen chance, but I'm happy that it was done that way because it is the PR and communications team that will put together the activities of all the chairpersons, all the officers that we heard together today sorry over the session and highlight the good work that the lions are doing so as i move on our expected outcomes for this session next slide we will get ready getting ready you will understand your role you will understand the role and function of the marketing chairperson marketing and communications chairperson learn how to promote and improve your club's image and know where to get help from but before we continue let us take a short moment to share with us 
your thoughts on what you think public relations and communication is for Alliance Club. Any thoughts? Anyone wants to share? Yeah. The most, the, oh, good night. Good night. Good night. I'm Hello, good evening. We are hearing you. Good night. I am Leo Shervin from Dominica. Um, basically, the role of the public relations officer is basically to speak on behalf of the club in case of any function or any um, activity coming up. Basically, that's just my input. Thank you. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. I'm hearing. Continue. Client Bad Vigonzas, we're from Antigua, MGM. Mm -hmm. um, I think one of the things the PR should be doing is to make sure that the lions are not the best kept secret bringing our image out there on the good work we've been doing so that others um may wish to partner with us because they see what we're doing is genuine and it's we give service and monies that we spend we receive we spend back on the public and not on ourselves so we should be should not be the best kept secret but be visual in every aspect thank you for sure okay let's continue getting ready for your role. Next slide. As the marketing communications chairperson, you play a dynamic role in your club. In this exciting position, you will inspire and motivate new members. You will increase your club's visibility in the community and increase the impact of your project and members initiative. As you get ready to meet new people, you will use your creativity and keep your community informed of the great things that your club is doing. Some of the roles and responsibilities of the PR and communication is to promote your accomplishments. One of the ways you can promote, some of the ways you can promote your accomplishments, you shine the light on your service. Be sure to let the community know what your, know about your service, your projects, your fundraising and your community services. You create an awareness of the role of lionism in the community. Tell your story. And we just heard that lions is not the best secret. Lions have great stories all over the world and we need to share them. Promote your membership events. Promoting your membership events will let people know who we are and encourage persons to become members of our club. And one of the other thing, one of the roles you have is to boost the profile of your club. These are just a few, but as we go along, you will see that the roles are varied. Before we continue, okay, go back to the first slide, go back to the next slide. Before we continue, let's just take some time and see if you can share your thoughts on what you think public relations entails. Anybody? Anyone wants to share? Okay, then we'll move on. Oh, sorry. Okay, we can move on. What is public relations? Good evening. Okay, good evening. Hi, good Teresa. evening. Hi, good oh, evening. Okay. <laughs> Lira, Teresa, welcome from Green. Hi, Teresa. When I think about public relations, I think about flexibility. Okay. <laughs> Thanks. Can I go? I can go on. What is public relations? It is. It can be described as a discipline which looks after your reputation and the aim of earning an understanding of your organization and influencing opinion and behavior. It can also be defined as the practice of managing communication between an organization and its publics. The publics are the persons that you want to reach and the persons who are interested in your organization. It also helps to shape an organization's image, build a brand, spread the organization's message, and minimize the effect of negative publicity. Okay. What are some of the traits of good public relations? 
Good public relations involves all forms of communication, non-verbal, verbal, social and electronic media, writing news releases, distribution of flyers, selling events tickets, selling your events tickets with your Lions paraphernalia is an, a great marketing and PR tool, holding press conferences, wearing your Lions pin, participating in an international parade. For me, I always wear my Lions pin and how I manage to do that, I have a protocol. My chain, my rings, my earrings and my lion pin remain together. So when I dress on the morning, I pick up all of these things so my lion pin is always with me. It's time. Let's get started. Next slide. Identify your team. When you identify your team for PR and public, and public relations and communications, try to ensure that you identify members who have varied skills. Some of the skills we are looking for, you would want members to have editing skills, writing mm -hmm. skills, IT skills, that's just a few, but make sure you use those skills that are specific to what you want to do. Prepare a plan, develop a media plan, identify what stories you want to tell. Prepare a budget. As we know in anything, we there is cost involved in everything that we do, even though sometimes we may realize that using some of the platforms are free, there are sometimes some cost involved that will help us boost our image and our story even further. So we should always prepare a budget. We should set goals and objectives. And I'm sure, I'm not sure if all of us were here, but we learned before in one of the sessions that setting goals, we have to ensure that our goals are smart, which are specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, and time bound. So all in our media plan would be just like any other plan with every all of the components that we just mentioned. Next slide. As we get ready, we need to contact the media. As a PR person, we must know our media so that they can know us to, to get things from us and it will be easy for us to get things to them. So create a media list. How do you do that? You leverage with your local newspapers and televisions as they are always ready for news, looking for news and looking for items to do. Create the list, get the names, contact information, whether it's telephone, email of all your media personnel. Ask them how they would like you to, how they would like to receive the information, whether they want you to bring the information in person so that they can interview you or telephone or email ask them how they would like the information and when you get that information from them send it to them in the to the following persons to the editor of the daily newspaper the community reporter sometimes the co community reporter is right there and they know as something is taking place they will always be there the news and public service director at the radio station but even when you try to get to know the media the media also want things from you and what, one of the, some of the things that they want to know, is it news? Is it timely? Because news is always done in real time. What impact will it have on the readers and viewers? And is it visual? Visual. So the media wants to know these things from you. Next slide. One of the things that we have to note, continue, next slide, is that not every story will be published or broadcast. The local newspaper editors and directors at the radio televisions will decide what they want their listeners to see and hear, and they will decide that. But one of the things I would encourage you to do is to be persistent. Continue to look for good stories and angles that will make them record your story, that will make them publish your story. As we go on, let us look at some public relation tools that can assist you in your work as a public relations and marketing officer. Websites and social networking sites are excellent ways to let people know about your club. And Lions International has allowed us to have an easy platform with free hosting with the Lions eClubhouse. So clubs who have not developed a website can log into the Lions eClubhouse and develop a website. It is very easy, it is, in a, it is free and and it showcases your work as a Lions Club. 
Other social media platforms would include Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, Flickr, all the social media platforms that we know. We should try to get our club on them, get our message on them. And I think for the younger ones, we have TikTok now, so they can get on to that and promote your club activities. What we need to remember in that our online communication, what it's about, our online communication to our public is about our service, what we are doing. It's about us lions. We want to showcase ourselves as lions. And the other thing we want to do are to showcase the people we serve. What are we doing for these people? And the people we want to come to us will see us in that light. They will see our service, they will see us as lions, and we'll see the people that we see. Next slide. One of the things about social media platforms that we must remember is that we should always evaluate our platforms. And some of the questions that we will ask ourselves, is it working? If it's not working for us, then we don't do it. If we have a, a social media platform and in one week we didn't get any likes, we didn't get any followers, we didn't get any comments, any feedback, it doesn't make sense. Probably we need to try another one or maybe try our change our stories they're not as exciting as people think they are check the analytics all the social platforms have a way of checking them look for feedback and one of the things that's important is that we must always respond put our platforms in a way that they will respond to people identify the things that work and try to improve them change what didn't work but always look for new avenues to promote your club Another public relations and tool are live broadcasts. Facebook live broadcast is a feature that allows Facebook social network to use your camera or on your computer or mobile device to broadcast real time videos. And like I said, real time news is important. And a smartphone is important, that's what I use. I use just a smartphone and I can do a lot of videos and pictures on my smartphone the broadcasters will determine who sees the videos and what you want to see but one of the things i want to caution you as as you're doing live broadcast sometimes while the live broadcast is going on you're recording and you're saying move back move back please hush hush you have to remember that you are recording so you have to prepare your members and your audience around you to know that you are going live so that you will not hear yourself in the broadcast saying please keep quiet or move back so just be cautious about that and you can go on facebook next slide and download the feature there's a training guide it will teach you how to do facebook live live broadcast next slide press releases press releases are an easy and inexpensive way to promote our activities press releases are six basic questions who what when where why and how these are the six basic questions that press releases answer in the press release the first part of the pyramid here shows how we would itemize the um points and sessions and issues sorry in our press release the first one the first part of your press release maybe the first two paragraphs or the first paragraph you would include the most important information. What is happening, when it is happening, why it is happening, who is in charge, and where it is happening. So you could do that in the first two paragraphs. The next paragraph, you'll provide secondary data, like further explanations of what is going on, or maybe quotations from the person that you're highlighting. For example, if we want to, we're writing a press release on our district governor elect, we would say when it happened, what, what took place, when, where, and how. And then in the secondary information, we could give a little quotation on some of the things that she gave in her incoming speech. Put that in the second position, in the second paragraph or further of the second part of your press release. In the final part of the press release, you need to give additional information, list items of dates, if applicable, or information about the club. You could say what your club is about, where your club meets, the time it meets, and who 
should be contacted for additional information or for clarification. There are a number of press releases at Lions International and they are easy adaptable. Some of them are just to fill in the blanks. So you can download them and just fill in the blanks and it will tell you, it will guide you in a, a long way, go a long way in guiding you as you prepare your press releases. Just some basic press release guidelines. Next slide. At least two weeks before your event, distribute news releases to editors, reporters, and news directors on your media list so that they can come to cover your story. What you need to do is just send them a short thing saying, we're having a project on Thursday, whatever date, the time, the place, who will be there, and they will. this is what you need to do at least two weeks before. Follow up with them one week before the event and always be ready to answer questions or to take photos because they like to do that next be positive and enthusiastic in explaining why people would be interested in your story if you are not showing any enthusiasm in your story the news editor or reporter will not want to present it to anybody because he would not he or she would not be moved by you so you have to be enthusiastic so that they would want to cover your story and bring it to their audience. They're, like I said, follow the press release format and you can always download the samples from the Lions International website. Next slide. Another public relation tool are interviews and public speaking. One of the things that we need to do for interviews is ensure that there's a, an appropriate, appropriate spokesperson for your club and that person should be should have accurate information as well as show enthusiasm and be confident in what they're saying confidence sorry, in what they're saying some of the tips for interviews know the facts be ready to expand upon who the what when and how and where you need to know that so that you can present it prepare key message points rather than answer a question with a simple yes or no Use the interviewer's question to bring out your message. Practice answering questions prior to the interview and review the association's key messages so that you will know exactly what you want to see. Give short, clear responses. Mention your main points early in the interview. In, few brief, in a few brief sent clear sentences. If you do not know the answer to a question, Offer to find out the answer and follow up immediately with the answer. Next slide. Interview, and when you are having interviews or public speaking, mention your club names often. Do not say, avoid saying I and we. Instead of saying I, keep talking about your club, the, our Lions Club, our club, our Castries Lions Club, our Grosile Lions Club, the Lions Club of Mona, the Lions Club of Bridgetown. Stop saying I, it's not an I thing or individual thing. You are representing your club. Watch what you say. Never give off the record comments. Sometimes the uh, reporters probe you to see, do you have anything to say? Do you think, what? Well, give me your comments on this or that. Try to avoid those off the record comments. Dress appropriately, always wear your pin and smile be conversational let the reporter see that you are enjoying being a lion and they can only see that by the image and what by what you portray as they speak with you next slide here are some traits that we can look for interviewee traits interviewee yeah interviewer okay we can do it too far right some interviewee traits, be sincere, honest, and humble. Have integrity. If you say, I will call you back with information, please call back with information. Show energy, enthusiasm, and warmth. Have a genuine passion for the topic. Show that you understand and you love lionism and you want to portray lionism. Offer useful and convincing information. Appear to know what you're talking about share real experiences and speak in everyday language, language that people understand. We know sometimes people tend to be too technical, 
But if it's a technical thing, try to bring it as clear as possible so that everybody can understand. Next slide. Some interviewer treats, because sometimes as the public relations and communications chair, you may sometimes need to conduct the interview and send it to the press. Sometimes they ask you to just send us a recording of your story. So as an interviewer, you'd have some treats. Be knowledgeable about the, about the topic so you would know what questions to ask. Listen attentively. Get good interviewers always listen attentively because you have to listen. Sometimes you may come prepared with a set of questions, but based on the answers that you get, you may have to vary your, your questions. So that is why it is it always important to listen attentively. Be emotionally mature. Do not put in your own biases in any topic that, or undue emotion in any of the topics or, or try to judge the persons that you, or judge the situation or the interviewee. Control your anger and aggression. Be empathetic. Try to put yourself in the person's place and see how you could answer the questions as best as you can. Display an extrovert behavior. Show that you have the quality of a good interviewer, that you want to get information from the person and you want to get the best information coming out of that person. And have physical and mental stamina. So to be able to follow all those stories as an interviewer, as a communication person, you need to have the physical and mental stamina to keep going. Next slide. And that's just a picture to show you how sometimes the reporters can, can bombard you as an interviewee and you need to be calm and collective while you're giving the interview. Next slide. Post event for post event public relations. Immediately report the results of your service and fundraising to the community, you can do it through the following. What, what we must always understand that news is real time. So as soon as your event is complete, please ensure that you report it. You can do an on-site interview with the chairperson or as we said before, a competent lion who knows how to speak and who knows what to say. You can prepare a press release or you can just send a thank you letter to the editor. That letter would be thanking your attendees, thanking your donate for the donations, thanking persons who supported your event. You can also place an ad in the newspaper because some companies may give you a free space and you can use that to say thank you for a lot for coming to your activity and for supporting me. Okay. Another tool that we can use is a public service announcement. These announcements, public service announcements, need to get the listener's attention because they are very short. They show the listener, so the listeners will benefit, show them what they will benefit from doing what you suggest. Tell the listeners where to go, what to do, when to do it, where to call for more information. So public service announcements are just things that give out information to your public. As a general guideline, 10 second spots will have approximately 20 words and 30 second spots will have approximately 65 words. So public service announcements are short and direct. And when you're doing a public service announcement, just be careful what you say because you never know who is on the wire. So that's important to remember. Next slide. Another tool that we can use are printed promotional material. And the printed promotional material can be flyers, bulletins, newsletters. And remember, the point that's keep, keep coming through is that everything should be saying who, what, when, where, and how. And when you do the printed material, be sure that they are bold, the put information is clear, and it says what you want to see. If you notice the two there, the global leader in humanitarian service, it's clear. That's what we want to let people know. And we want to show them that the website is www.lionsclub.org and that's where you get information. So it's bold. Next slide, please. When we talk about pictures and photographs, we use these to enhance our publications and press releases. 
but we need to ensure that they are related to the press release and they, they do not overshadow the press release. So we limit the number of people in the picture, do not include too much background. Shoot photos and select the best, shoot a lot, more than one, two, three, four, five, and select the best one that will tell your story and that will enhance your publication. Ensure that they are action photos. Now, if we're talking about lions feeding or doing something, we cannot present a picture with the lions just standing, observing. We need to present action photos that will support our work. Another place we can highlight our work is by submitting our photos to Lions International using the submit a photo form on the LCI website. But remember, when you're looking at photographs, their light and focus should be great. They should be great lighting. They should be not framed photos. Do not write on them. And remember, they should always be candid and action shots. Let's move on. So here we see a candid photo. He's doing something with the kids, and they are right there. Next slide. The Lion Magazine is also another tool that we can use to submit our information. And the Lion Magazine has clear guidelines as to what you should do and what you should not do. To submit detailed information, again, who, what, when, where, why, and how, say how much money was raised or how much money was spent and the purpose, include clear candid action photos of lions participating in the project and one thing when you're submitting information to the lions magazine is to be sure to include your state or country's name where the club is located because if you don't do that they would know they wouldn't know because remember lions have number of clubs to deal with and the sites for getting information into the Lions Magazine. The address is magazine at lionsclub.org. For the Lions Magazine, there are also don'ts. Don't submit news of your club anniversaries and charter birthdays. The Lions Magazine crew doesn't want to hear that. Don't rely on your yearly activities report to publicize your club activities in the Lions Magazine. Don't staple or write on the photos and don't forget to identify the people in the photos. So these are just a few guidelines, but as you go to Lions International website, there's full of things that you would have and get as it relates to the Lion Magazine. One of the things we need to do as PR person is to determine our audience. Your audience is the group of people in the general public who would be interested in your news item. And your primary audience would include your current members because your members would want to know what is happening in the club. Sometimes we cannot attend the meeting or activity, but we would want to know about it. Your prospective members, persons who are interested in becoming lions, they would want to know why they want to be lions. Local news, news media, the local media, social, electronic, print, they would desire audience your community members and other local organizations. That's your composition of your audience. So we have a picture where we can determine our audience, our internal audience. Let's go. After we've done our all our, we've had our tools, we've identified our audience, we have to determine whether our story is newsworthy. And news offers information about activities or events that are of interest to affect or involve the public. Public service announcements, on the other hand, gives information about a specific, specific topic to help or assist the public. For example, describing the warning signs of diabetes or encouraging volunteerism. Next slide. So, determining what is noteworthy, get involved for you as the PR and public relations person to understand what is going on, you need to get involved early in the Lions project so you can determine the potential for being newsworthy. Some examples of activities with positive, with possible news value, sorry, are service projects aiding the community groups as visually impaired, elderly and disabled or, or differently able, sorry. The news like these kind of activities. Some youth programs, they like to focus on youth, like our Peace Poster competition, scholarships, and even when check presentations, the reporters love these. So 
when we look at our items and our activities, we can see if these are news, newsworthy. Determine which activities are unique to your club and may be of interest to the media. Determine, to determine what is newsworthy, you should always ask yourself, would a non-lion find this interesting or useful? And these are the questions that we should always ask ourselves. To be considered newsworthy, they should be about timely events or activities that enhance your local parks, like enhancing a local park or commun a community park, sorry, involve general public or community groups, fundraising activities, school drives, or perform public service like vision screening, drug abuse education. These are things that are newsworthy, and these are things that some of the reporters love to get involved in. That's right. There are other public public service and PR ideas that we can use. And the presentation, I will send out some for you. You could ask for community. If there's a community magazine, you can ask them to post information in it. You can send out flyers and brochures. Um, I know some clubs use the churches and make announcements in the church because you're in some churches, there's a wide audience. So that's a place where you can use to publicize your activities and your events. You could ask the schools if there are any newsletters in schools in your community that you work with, you could ask them to share something about your club in their magazine. But you can also use your club newsletters, flyers and bulletins to portray your club by place, asking to place these in your doctor's office, in the government offices, in all of these little offices so that they ensure that, they ensure that you are reaching persons in your community. You can also put up signs in your community and a lot of the signs can be purchased on LINES International website. Next slide. One of the things we need to guard against is fake news. And we hear a lot of this being banded about. But we need to, sometimes we may say LINES don't have fake news, but we may hear of something that is directly affecting or directly related to some of our core areas and we will just run ahead and post it before we do that consider the source cross check check the date make sure it is relevant because remember we said news is always real time don't forward every message and don't give into panic an example i can give an example of this we have we have heard for those of us from saint lucia where they say that St. Lucia has the highest rate of diabetes per capita. But some people forget the per capita and they just see the high rate of diabetes. Now that may be relevant, let's say in 1970s, it may not be relevant now. But the Lions Club, since diabetes is one of Lions International core areas, will run with it and say, let us work on it without even reviewing the information to ensure that it is good. So one of the things as good PR persons, communication persons, we have to guard against is that we don't as lions spread fake news. Where to get help? And look, the club public relations chairperson guide on Lions International is a place where you will get help. The marketing and communications chairperson guide is also available. PRLionsClub.org, Lions Club International Resource Center. We can go to Facebook.learn if we want to learn about the Facebook Live and some of the social media sites. LionsClub.org slash marketing and LionsSmile.org. These are all some of the places, not all, some of the places where we can go to get help if we need help as PR and communications persons. Also, you can get help from your support team and our Marketing Communications Publications Commission for Lionistic Year 2020-21 is myself as the coordinator for Region 3 and my information is there. Lion Jamil Scott, Assistant Coordinator for Region 3. Lion Marin Anderson, Assistant Coordinator Region 1 and 2. And Leo Teresha Walcott, Assistant Coordinator for Region 2. We are available to give you support and willing to support you. One of the things that we also would like as a team is that you, your club 
public relations and communications officers stay in close contact with us because when we as a team would prepare something we would re we would distribute it to your club and expect that the clubs would disseminate it throughout their communities so we are here to support you if you need guidance in preparing your releases if you need guidance in doing anything you we are here for support so you can call on us and i would like to close the session by giving you something what is called a race model it's a four-step race model and it describes the pr process as r for research a for action c for communication e for evaluate so as pr persons you must always keep the race model in mind and i want to say together we can we will thank you Thank you. Thank you very much, Lion Beatrice. Thank you. Excellent we're presentation. We're open for questions. And yes, we have and some discussion questions and, and discussion. comments. Yes. yes. So the floor is now open. If you wish, you can also place a question in the chat and I can yes. raise it. Okay, no questions. Well, I hope I have um, met our objective, like we stated before the outcome, and I hope that Lions and Leos are better able to promote your club activities, to shine a light on your club. Thank you, Lam Beatrice. Um, I will now invite Lion Carol Scholar of Region 2 and incoming PR Chair to move the vote of thanks on behalf of the 70 Leos and Lions who participated in this workshop. Hello to all Lion Lions Carol. and Leos. Hello. Can you hear me well? Yes, we yes, can hear you well. Okay. Hi to all Lions and Leos in this training session today. Um, services are business and learning how to effectively communicate or serve it and reach the public is very important. I have this great pleasure to extend a big thank you to our presenter, Lion Beatrice McDonald, MJF, for you did a wonderful job. You, you have given us such detailed and valuable information that we can definitely utilize in this upcoming Lionistic year. You have adequately prepared us to maintain the club image, Lions image, build our brands, and definitely know how to highlight our projects and make them newsworthy. Thank you. Thanks also extended to the global leadership team for coordinating all of the training sessions. Um, I definitely enjoyed this one. You know, they say they saved the best for last. Lion Beatrice. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> so as we continue to enter our new Lionistic year, I do hope that everyone here will be able to utilize the information from all of these sessions and especially the session today because public relations is every lion's business. Yes, and as yes. you said, you wear your pin all yeah. the time and I try to do so as well. We yeah. need to wear our brand proudly and definitely encourage others to be interested in what we do and how we serve. Yeah. Yeah. All right, good night. Thank you. Thank you, Lion Carol. Indeed, a wonderful session to tie all the workshops together. I just wanted to thank again all the Lions and all the Leos who participated in the series of workshops, making them a success. Um, I was very happy with the distinguished roster of facilitators that uh, shared uh, their experience and expertise with us all. Um, and so to my fellow presenters, starting with Lion Sher Sherwin, um, he started us off with the session on presidents and vice presidents. 
um, Lion Hyacinth Jeremiah on Treasurers, Lion Septimus Rudd uh, doing the session on Till Twiston, Lion Leandra Lewis on Secretaries. Earlier today, Lion Shonda Ford, who did the session on Leo's and Leo Advisors, Lion Wendy Labari, who facilitated on committee chairs. Special thanks to, to Lion Wendy for all the IT facilitation uh, throughout each session. Thank you so much, Lion Wendy. To Lion Leroy Hines, MJF, she facilitated the membership session. Um, Lion Monica Felix, she ably did the session on LCIF coordinators. And of course, again, thank you so much, Len Beatrice McDonald, um, for bringing it all together so wonderfully for us. I invite you all to stay tuned for other upcoming training and workshops. Already, we have received some feedback on additional training and additional workshops that you would wish to have. If there are any other suggestions, please feel free to drop me a note, my email address, my surname, P-A-Y-N-E-S-R, that's Payne's S-R, Payne S-R, uh, hotmail.com, and we'll be sure to pass them on to the incoming GLT team. So it now remains with me to say, um, stay safe, best wishes for a good year of service, and continue to serve with distinction. Have a good night, all. Thank you. Thank you. Goodbye. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.